Well, check out this organized mess. I know where everything's at. Right. You know how that goes. Uh oh, what's going on here? I'm getting a little bit of work done on the Firebird. I got the dash all back in. Got my gauges in. Kind of dark in here. Got the heater controls, radio back in. Shifter cable, everything. I'm going to hold off on putting the console back in and the rest of the shifter because I'm going to end up pulling this carpet up and the seats and uh, weld in new little panels on the floor where there's a little rust. So, uh, gas gauge is working now. Got the wiring harness for all the trunk lights back here. I pulled out the lights there. Show you those. Those are looking pretty good. Uh, these are all pretty bad looking. I put them in the sandblaster, cleaned them up, and uh, just hit them with some like silver spray paint, some uh, rust oleum, and man, they look brand new. They almost look like I just got them dipped. So those are looking good. I got the lights here. These had a bunch of overspray on them, where it had I don't know, probably three coats of paint on them. Got them all cleaned up. Put them in the same blaster. That thing is <laughs> so convenient. I made a video about this. I never did put it up, but it sure helps out. I mean, you get old projects and stuff that just looks like crap. Clean it up and be amazed at what you can do with it then and instead of junking it. So I got this all tore apart. Looking a little bare. This uh, upper control arm, it's already been sandblasted and uh, new bushings put in. I got the lower one here. Look at this. Good old sloppy ball joint. I'm going to get that pressed out. I got new ones. Get these uh, uh, bushings pressed out. Put new ones in. I'm going to sandblast this here in a minute. See how I get that cleaned up. Got the old spindles there, tie rods and everything. I got all new. Um, wanting to replace that center center link right here. I'm sure you probably can't see that, but it's the bar in between the idler and pitman arm. Probably gonna replace those too. I gotta get all this frame cleaned up. So I got me a bunch of brake clean wire brushes. Damn you drums. Glad to get rid of those. Get these uh slotted and drilled uh, disc brakes put on so that'll be nice uh, what else I got going on I don't know an organized mess so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this up and see what I get it looking like well it's cleaned up pretty good so far I've been working at it a little bit don't look too hateful about tuckered out for the night so I'm gonna hit it again tomorrow and uh, see about getting them bushings pressed out kinda of debating on whether or not just going and picking one up I saw one at Harbor Freight for that one that was already open one 90 bucks for it so I'm not sure how much somebody's gonna charge me to do it so I'm debating on it got these uh, the frame cleaned up pretty good Took a wire brush to it and some brake cleaner and then I got my uh, just took a little bit of wire brush on the angle grinder so uh, got my calipers out I'm probably gonna paint those about the same time I paint up all this stuff I picked up uh, some of this stuff that you spray and it turns rust to black primer probably spray some of that on these I think you'll let it dry 24 hours then probably go ahead and paint them black um, gotta get my new coil springs in got those off get all the measurements on them tie rods get my new ones all set up ready to go now keep you updated and see how everything goes lots of parts Oh yeah.